Let's get right into our teaching today. I want to deal with the topic, be exceedingly glad. Be exceedingly glad. I want to just ask the question before I even read the scripture. When last were you grateful and joyful and just full of fun? Come on. Man, life has been so heavy, so tough, all this COVID stuff and all the stuff we've had to deal with. But I want to tell you right now, the Bible is instructing us to be exceedingly glad. It doesn't say be grateful and be glad for what's going on. Excuse me, it tells you to be glad in it. I can be glad in it. I'm glad for my salvation. I'm glad for my family. I'm glad for what God has done for me, that I'm out of hell. Particularly now that I've been studying the book of Revelation so intently, I'm telling you what, I do not want to be here. All right, I don't want to go through what they are going to go through. But I'm telling you now, I can be glad in a situation, even if it's tough or even if I'm in a battle. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, 12. It says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So it doesn't matter what is coming your way, no matter how easy it is, no matter how tough it is, we can be glad in it, knowing that even at the worst of the worst, I will receive a reward. I will get a reward. God's looking at what's going on and what I've had to endure on this earth. But my response to it is what God's looking for. Listen carefully. It's not what's happening to you. It's how are you responding to it and what are you doing about it? If you want to change something, we need to apply the word and believe God to change the circumstance. But am I glad in it? The scripture I've just read makes it even tougher. And it says, listen, if you are even persecuted like the prophets, still be exceedingly glad in where you are at. And believe me, believe God for a change or a shift. Peter and them were in prison, but yet they were singing. They were exceedingly glad, even though they were locked up. Because they trusted God, they believed God, they trusted that God would do something. The church was praying, and guess what? God intervened, the whole situation was changed. So I want to tell you right now, how content are you in God? Are you exceedingly glad about what God has done for you? Are you glad about what has happened in your life? You see, if you're not sure, have you made a book of remembrance for yourself? Do you realize when God has stepped in for you? Have you made a note when God comes and supernaturally changes something and comes and changes your environment or breaks something off your life? You see, we are believing God for supernatural things to take place. I know God is going to do something in our nation. I don't praise God for the trouble that's here. I don't praise God for what happened in Natal. I don't praise God for what happened in lockdown. I don't praise God for what has happened in the government. All right. I praise God in the midst of this. I'm glad that I'm born again. I'm exceedingly glad that I have loved ones around me that love me that are saved. I'm glad about what God is going to do in this nation. But I don't settle for that. But I'm still exceedingly glad and I rejoice even if it is a difficult situation around me. So saints, don't fall for the trap. Don't allow the devil in. Let's start trusting God. Let's ask God to give us the joy and the gladness and the, the power to sit down and rejoice in the midst of a circumstance, in the midst of pressure, in the midst of persecution, in the midst of absolutely devastating things. God can give us joy. God can give us gladness and he's ex expecting us to have exceeding gladness. I want you to see this. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Not just glad and happy. Exceedingly. If you're worried about me being excited and stuff, man, I tell you what, what would happen if everyone was like me, just being so happy and excited for life? I love life. I know that God's got a plan for us. I know that this nation is an awesome nation and that we are going to get to where God has for us. The devil is not going to have this nation in Jesus' name. And I am glad that there are Christians who stand together and pray together. Amen. So I want to bless you. And I want to say today, as we come around the table, let us ask God to show us what he has done for us so that we can be exceedingly glad in the things that he has done for us. Amen. All right. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in the remnants of me. He took the cup 
And he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So right now, saints, as we take of these elements, let us believe God for a supernatural move of his spirit. Let us believe God that we will be exceedingly glad and that we will be able to rejoice in any situation. Let's pray together. Lord, I ask you right now that you'll move by your spirit in a mighty way. Lord, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural in each one of our lives. We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive. Lord, I ask you to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose. And Lord, right now, I ask you, Lord, to bring us to the place of being exceedingly glad in you. Lord, that we will remember the times where you've come through for us. And Lord, that in the midst of any crisis, we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad of who we are and who we have as our Father. Lord, I pray for a revelation. And Lord, that we will move with power and might in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, I thank you right now that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal bodies. I thank you, Lord, that we are totally healed by the power of God. We command every single symptom to leave us. And I thank you, Lord, that we can move in power and might right now in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to bless you. I want to commend you. I want to say that it's an absolute, absolute privilege to be part of our, our, our gatherings, our time together as believers. I'll tell you what, it is just amazing. All right. I want to just tell you it's Thursday. And what happens on Thursday? It's our home fellowship uh, and facilitators training. So tonight at 7 o'clock, you're going to, we're going to be watching a thing on, on our home fellowships where we can uh, get trained and equipped. And then at 7.30, the facilitators. If you want to be part of a facilitator, in other words, if you want to come and open a small group, remember this. We are moving across the nation and we are setting up small groups so that we carry the power of God wherever we go and that we can create a spiritual umbrella over this nation. So please go to fathersart.co.za and just apply and say, listen, I want to be part of this. Amen. So right now I'm going to pray over businesses and I'm going to pray over our nation. Lord, right now I pray over every single business. Lord, I thank you right now that every business is blessed. I thank you, Lord, that every part of our economy is blessed. Thank you, God, that we can build altars in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural deals, divine connections in Jesus' name. I come against any form of COVID, command it to die, dissipate, leave our nation. Lord, I thank you that every single hospital in this nation is COVID-free in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray over our nation. I bless South Africa. I thank you, Lord, that our leaders will make godly decisions. Lord, that you will lead them and guide them by your spirit. I come against every demonic voice, every demonic input, and I command the voice to be disconnected from our leaders in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, we're going to get into our declaration right now. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might, with valor, the power of God, and release the peace of God wherever you go. Remember this, even if you're in a shopping center, just walk and bless every place that your foot treads. Say, God, I bless this place. I release the power of God over it in Jesus' name.